other than the fact that Jesus healed a blind man, when we read this gospel, it kind of seems unremarkable. You know, Jesus walks up to this guy and says, what do you want me to do for you? And to none of our surprise, he says, I want to see. But we also have to remember that with all the miracles, there's always two levels. There's the physical level that he physically cannot see anything, but the people's physical condition is indicative of what's going on in their heart, what's going on in their soul. So he lacks physical sight, but he's also lacking spiritual sight, or what we would call faith. And so when he's asking to see, he's not only asking to be able to physically see, but he's also asking for that spiritual sight, to see with the eyes of God, to see with God's perspective rather than his own. And I think when we realize that, that is pretty remarkable, because I don't know about you, but I struggle to pray for faith sometimes. I I pray for other things, right? Like, I want to do well at my job, or for healing for myself or somebody else, or for a meeting to get canceled, or for my favorite sports team to win. Like, I'm very good at praying for things, but sometimes I forget to actually pray for the gift of faith, because our Lord says that it's the man's faith that saves us. And I imagine many of you are in a similar position that we're so focused on what we want and what we ask for that we forget to see with God's sight. It would be like as if the blind man, Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? And he's like, you know, I think it'd be really nice if you gave me this like really nice and comfortable recliner so that I could beg a lot more comfortably. It's like, we ask for things, but Jesus, I think, looks at us and he's like, I can do so much more for you. I can give you so much more. See with my sight, see with faith. See it from my perspective. Today, let us ask the Lord for that gift of faith. It's certainly good to ask for things. He tells us to do so. But let us also ask for the gift of faith so that we may see things not from our own perspective, but from his.